Well, traditionally, students in middle school participate in a job shadow by going to a company to shadow an employee. But now students from Forest View Middle School are staying at school Why? while employers come to visit them for this week's Golden Apple. Our Sarah Winkleman takes us to see the first reverse job shadow for the Brainerd School District. 500 students at Forest View Middle School did not even have to leave campus to learn about 16 different career clusters. What that job looks like, what the path of education would look like to get those kinds of jobs, and you know, just kind of give them a basic day in the life so that the kids can walk away with a better understanding of what a career in that industry might look like. Uh, those folks do a marvelous job of, of taking what we are doing in the walls of the school and really making it applicable to real life. During an important time of exposure and discovery for the eighth grade students. So we don't expect kids to know what their future is going to hold, you know, as a 13 or 14 year old. That just most of us as adults know that that's just not realistic. But at the same time, we want to give them a better understanding so that when they're going into high school, they're not just going in blind. Even though the job shadow took place at school, there were still plenty of hands-on experiences. We all need to work together to get a bandage on you and then tape it up. Oh, it's exciting. Um, they, you can see the interest, the, you know, and they light up and they actually get to do it. They see how easy it is and how creative they can be with it. So it's kind of a neat drill. Then hold it there and just wrap around. I think I would do it in the future if I had the chance to. Students were able to test out many careers with 26 volunteers from a variety of industries. It is very special for us um, for coming out and showing us what they do for daily life and giving us a little, little glimpse of how work fields are. No matter the career cluster, the students now know that they have options. It's really nice, like it gives me kind of a feeling of knowing more what I'm going to do. And it's just easier to do it with your friends than to just kind of like be doing it alone, kind of just feeling like you don't know what you're going to do because you can talk about it with your friends. Giving them lots of choices as they soon head to high school and beyond. For this week's Golden Apple, in Baxter, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.